So hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz. Today I have three gameplays for you, all of them in the FE4202. These were three consecutive games I had with my good friend Hayson whilst we were platooning. Uh, actually it was, uh, I think it was three or four weeks ago, something like that. Anyways, I have a few things I want to cover in today's video. Uh, first off is uh, update 2.8, which was uh, released uh, not that long ago. There were some significant changes to the profitability of the vehicles, uh, some significant changes to the repair costs of the vehicles, all of which were aimed at making the game, uh, or at least initially, the idea that the players had gotten was that uh, it was going to make the game a bit, uh, a bit cheaper to play, um, at least credit-wise. But uh, it turned out with new provisions, it, it was actually difficult. Uh, it was difficult to make a profit uh, in most of the tiers. Even some uh, tier seven tanks, which have high ammunition costs, were, were were a real pain in the pain in the butt to drive. But uh, luckily, wargaming they they stepped up. They listened to the great efforts of the of the combined uh, uh, World of Tanks Blitz communities across Asia, North America, Europe, and Russia, and uh, they have uh, they have revoked some of the changes, lowering some of the prices. Of the new uh, of the new provisions that were introduced, and I think uh, I think looking looking at the changes they're gonna make, it, it seems to me that uh, the changes they are gonna they are gonna bring uh, bring back uh, a lot of the balance that uh, that was initially lost with the with the with the changes that were made. So apart from uh, apart from the changes in the provisions and the consumables and stuff, there were also the changes or the introduction of the new uh, of the new Russian uh, TDs, which uh, I don't know if you've driven them yet. But uh, I've been driving them almost exclusively for, uh, since they were introduced. I'm up to the tier 9 now, having a lot of fun with it. I feel it's a really, really strong tank. So definitely my favorite tank so far in the line. And uh, I have to say they are, they are a lot of fun to drive. They're just epic fun. You can, uh, you can race around the battlefield, put your gun to use, and especially at tier 9 where you get some amazing DPM, you can really just pound away at pretty much any enemy. Apart from uh, apart from uh, from update two point eight, I also wanted to talk about something else, which was uh, user replays. Uh, I'm gonna start. Uh, I don't know if there's an interest for it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start showcasing user replays that are sent to me, uh, and uh, I'm gonna sh drop my email uh, in the in the in the comment section here, so you can uh, you can send the emails or send a link to them where, to the files where I can download them, and I'm gonna pick out the best ones and do a I do a and do like a, a video once a week of the best uh, best replay that I get submitted. Eventually, if if it picks up, we're gonna start doing some contests around these replays as well, and I think that could be that could be a lot of fun for people watching, and also maybe for people who uh, who uh, think that uh, my gameplay is not the right way to do it. They could show me how they how they play the tanks, and I really hope that uh, I'm gonna get a lot of submissions for this and. Uh, Feel free to start submitting straight away. I promise I'll be doing a lot of these videos if they turn out uh, if it turns out that there's an interest for them. So uh, please do that. Uh, another little piece of information uh, is that uh, I have uh, started. Uh, I'm gonna start streaming a bit more regularly. Uh, I've been doing so once in a while on Shoe TV um, through the Airshoe app. You can um, you can watch tonight. We have a we have a clan event against uh, Clan Loka. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be streaming pretty much all night tonight. So uh, I hope you are going to enjoy that as well. There's a link in the description below. Uh, anyways, back to these gameplays. So uh, this was the first game of these three. And uh, you could see that uh, it, was, uh, it was a first class and I, I did some good damage. And this tank, uh, I have to say this, uh, I feel the FB4202 is, is like the, it's, it's the secret weapon of tier 10. Um, the the hash ammunition and the, the good turret and the great mobility. I know the top speed isn't very good, but the mobility is simply excellent, and that just means that you can dish out damage to your enemies so much, so easy. And the, the gun handling is just amazing. You can pull off the most epic snapshots. And uh, like I said, this was a this was three games I had in a row um, with Hassan and. All of them were first class, all of them above 4k damage, and I, I don't think I would have been able to do that as consistently in many of uh, many of the other tier 10 medium tanks. For, for example, the, the, the Object 140 and the T62A, who might be a bit more situational. I feel that the, this tank, with the changes they've made to maps, you, there are a lot of possibilities uh, for you to, to use the small hills that have been introduced. 
use the great gun depression, use the awesome gun on this tank and the amazing Hesh ammunition, which is simply, uh, I can't get enough of it. You can call me a gold noob all you want, but I simply love shooting Hesh at as much as I can. So I could be shooting it right here actually, but you know what, it's not always, uh, it's not always I remember to switch it and uh, I think it, it takes some getting used to that you always have to remember to, to switch the ammunition. You have to think about am I shooting? Am I shooting at spaced armor? Am I shooting at something that's at least over 200 millimeters of armor where I'm not gonna be guaranteed a penetration with the hash? All those things that means that I'm still I'm still learning to use the hash, but I really feel it has some it has some great potential, and it's definitely the reason why I I'm so much in love with this tank currently. I think uh, this tank is probably my favorite tank in the entire game, to be honest. Maybe there are some some other competitors like the the Comet, the E seventy five. There are a lot of great tanks in the game, but I really feel this one you can just you can carry your team epically. Even though it doesn't have great armor, you have more than sufficient. You can see the Hesh here. I have those two shots there. That was nine hundred damage. That was more than an IS seven would be able to pull off uh, on average, and it just shows you that you can really. The, the DPM might not sound amazing uh, initially, but when you start using the hash, you can really you can really make a difference for your team because, yeah, you know what, 400 and I think it's 460 average damage per shot. That's just simply amazing for a medium tank. And at seven rounds a minute, you have way better DPM than, for example, the T62A or the Object 140. So uh, you can see we've uh, we've cleaned up pretty tidily here. I dunk my shots get tracked just start pounding away at his side now, i loaded the adrenaline and as you can see this is uh, before update 2.8 was introduced so uh, uh the adrenaline timer is still on 30 426 on the isa which just really shows how amazing the ammunition is on this tank i really i can't tell you enough how much i love it anyway this was uh, this was another very 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 good game at least for for my team we uh, picked up another first class uh, 1418 base experience and made a little profit as well you can see Heysan, he also did some good work in his e50m which is the the medium tank at tier 10 with the with the worst dpm so uh, off to the last gameplay of this video this is uh, again the fv4202 and we're on black goldville this map is uh, can be a bit challenging for this tank because apart from uh, you, you don't really want to hang back uh, as far as these small hills are. If you if you advance too far ahead, the the enemy is going to be able to shoot your hull, and and there are not that many small hills where you can where you can hold down. I could go up to the caves, but I I haven't. I'm not used to fighting in the caves. I don't like fighting in the caves, so I, I prefer staying in this location or fighting in the middle of the map. And I really think that you can you can make a much bigger difference there. You saw me and Hayson there. We he landed a shot. I landed a hash. I landed another hash. And no, oh, that was actually an APCR. Nevertheless, we uh, in three shots or four shots we managed to take this uh, to take this E50 down to yeah what a, a very very small percentage of its health. And I really think that. Uh, that's what you can do in this tank. The great gun handling, the amazing penetration. You can really just pound away at your enemies. And I, if you don't, if you haven't tried the British medium line yet, I recommend you to try it. It's a lot of fun. It is. There are. There are. As far as I remember, there's not a single bad tank in that whole line. At least not in my opinion. Of course, it's a subjective thing. So, uh, so you might have a different opinion. And if you do so, just let me know in the comments, so we can have a we can have a discussion about. It. Personally, I think this one is my favorite. The uh, the um, the Comet is uh, also it's right up there with this tank. The Comet is simply amazing with 12 degrees of gun depression. That's something that I didn't mention yet. This tank has 10 degrees of gun depression, which is best at tier 10 combined uh, with the STB1 and the Leopard 1. And you can see when you pop the adrenaline, you're shooting at the. E100 like this, he, he just has no chance. Even though these are two very, those were two very, very respectable players. Check out this snapshot. Whoop. Bang. Okay. Sorry, that was just, a, I thought that was a pretty cool shot myself. See this T62A? Hash, 449 damage. You can, oh, you just, uh, I can't praise that ammunition enough. You're gonna, you, if you, uh, 
if you're careful with where you shoot, uh, when you select to use the Hesh ammunition, you can destroy anything that you face. Anyway guys, this game's almost over. Tomorrow I'm gonna be showing a gameplay in the Centurion 7-1, which is the predecessor of, this, uh, of the FV4202. I hope you, uh, you've enjoyed this video, it's almost over, so uh, anyway, remember, send me, uh, send me a ton of your replays, send me as many as you like, and uh, also make sure that you check in for the stream tonight, the link is in the description or below, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, have a nice evening.